And today is November 20th, 2023. You haven't seen me for quite a while because I've been doing other things for the honor and glory of the Lord. But the Lord gave me this tonight. I am bringing it forth. Many of you are not watching any longer. You've got to be watching, seeing the things that are happening in Israel. The Lord says that this is his time clock. We must keep our eyes on Israel. The war that is going on, I told you, the Lord said, it is the war of Psalms 83. And after this, or at the same time, I should say, it is Jeremiah 12, 14 through 17. Then also Isaiah 17, Jeremiah 49. Then, when we're long gone, after the tribulation hour, Ezekiel 38 and 39 will take place. Brothers and sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ. This is what it says in God's holy word. Thus saith the Lord against all my evil neighbors that touch the inheritance which I have caused my people Israel to inherit. Behold, I will pluck them out of their land and pluck out the house of Judah from among them. And it will come to pass after that I have plucked them out, I will return and have compassion on them and will bring again every man to his inheritance and every man to his land. He will have compassion upon Israel and upon his neighbors, Iran, Jordan, Iraq, all those neighbors in the Middle East. And it shall come to pass if they will diligently learn the ways of my people to swear by my name, not by false God's names, but by his name. The Lord liveth as they taught my people to swear by Baal when they were captured by Babylon. Um, then shall they be built in the midst of the people of my people. But if they will not obey, I will utterly pluck up and destroy that nation, saith the Lord. He's going to destroy Iran, Jordan, Iraq, all the neighbors, neighborly people in the Middle East that are neighbors of Israel. He's going to destroy them all. Every one of them. So this is what's happening right now during this war of Psalms 83. Shalom, be blessed. Oh, and also, he gave me this tonight. The ways of the Lord. A watchman must follow God's rules and his ways. The watchman's duty. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, when I bring a sword upon a land, 
if the people of the land take a man of their hosts, coasts, and set him for their watchman, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warns the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword comes and takes him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took it not warning, his blood shall be upon him. And he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman sees the sword coming and blows not the trumpet, and the people be warned, not warned, if the sword come and takes any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity sins, but his blood will be required at the watchman's hand. So thou, son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore there shall hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me, for me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his sins, but his blood I will require at thy hand. Nevertheless, if thou man, if thou warn this wicked of his ways, As turn as he turns from it, if he no, if he does not turn from his ways, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou shalt deliver thy soul, brothers and sisters, body of Christ, body of Christ. I believe that God has warned Israel and his neighbors, of the neighbors of Israel, to turn away from their wickedness. But they refuse, they refuse, they refuse. So this is why God is doing what he's doing. It says in the word of God, in Jeremiah 12, Fourteen through seventeen, what he's going to do next. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem and for the peace of Israel and for the IDF and our soldiers of America. Pray, 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 pray. pray. Because the Lord is coming soon. Shalom, be blessed, and we are out of here.